Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC for do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a split system refrigerator. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. This is a water cooled condenser unit. Here's our water cooled condenser. Back there are our main two pipes. It is pretty crazy here. So this is for a refrigerator and specifically what happened is I was here previously and I noticed this piece right here. This is our defrost time clock. This thing is not working. So I set the time to let's say 3 p.m. It was 3 p.m. and over an hour later, it pretty much barely didn't move. So this defrost clock needs to be changed. I was here and what happened is the coil was completely frozen due to this. Followed the power lines right there. Took out our pull switch, power is off for the condensing unit, but we have a separate source of power for upstairs. This is a relay right here, a rib relay, which is really cool. So when the light turns on, that means the thermostat is calling. So I also unplugged the refrigerator upstairs. So now all sources of power are off and now we can safely change this clock. This clock is 208 volts. So for the fact that this relay is in here, it makes things a bit trickier but we're gonna get this done. I went over to the supply house and picked up a brand new Paraglon mechanical defrost timer. All right, so first things first, we're gonna need to decipher exactly how this relay is connected. This relay is for our thermostat. So when the thermostat calls, this light comes on and then energizes our condensing unit. Let's go through all this and see what's going on. I want, to, I want to pull out this clock, but it's attached somehow. So if you pull this tab, you could actually lift the guts out of here. And there's a 516 screw right here. All right. This is a tight space to work in, so it's hard to see. I want to take that clock out, and regardless, we got to take it out. You always want this 90 degree attachment. Man, that thing is a lifesaver. So now we got that screw out. Let's put this back. Oh, we got another screw in here. Somewhere in here. You see, I can't even see it. All right. Now we can see what's going on. Man, look. There's wires going in here too. Man, this thing is crazy. Wow. Let's see what's going on in here. So it's our three wires right here. All right, so I deciphered this wiring. We got 120 coming in through this BX and it energizes our coil. So our black and white wire here and white and yellow wire, that's our coil. That's our 120 that energizes. Then we have a common and a normally open point. The common gets connected in here, goes with the pressure control and so forth. So we're gonna make our connection here. Then we have the normally open contact going to terminal four here, which is this orange wire. Uh, then our neutral is this red wire. And then our hotline, sorry, that's not a neutral. That's actually a second power source. This is 208, so it's 120 in this leg. And then on the black wire, terminal one is another 120 in that comes in right here. So now that we have this deciphered, I can disconnect everything and start bringing in the new stuff. I did write it down. Always gotta write things down and take pictures. All right, I'm gonna loosen up this VX. And there's our two wires here. So, black and white. Cut that. The yellow, white and yellow. Cut that. And now, this 120 can come out. All right, we got our 120 coming in, out. Our coil's disconnected. Uh, okay, then I can cut this yellow. That's kind of short. So I'm actually gonna not cut it. Just gonna take off the wire nut leave as much length as we can. Let's 
so now that relay wire is out and then the two power wires are 208 i'm gonna leave one cut like this so i can see the red goes here and then the next black wire is here i'm gonna leave that like out of the way this way so then i know this one goes here and now should be free so we still gotta disconnect our line and quite a few things so three terminals here and the rest of this uh, we gotta rebuild everything this thing is crazy here's our new clock let's go ahead and see exactly what's going on and i guess we're gonna have to do the same setup we'll mount it the exact same way all right so we're gonna need to make a knockout here bring in our bx make a knockout here for our relay and then they ran the wires through here so we're gonna have to make a hole in here to run it into this box also pulled out this relay it's gonna go in here made our knockout so it's gonna make the hole in the bottom and start mounting all this up man this looks crazy in here all right we screw this on got the knockouts out there's actually a little bit of space but i can just run the wire through i'm just gonna use that so let's bring in our bx start bringing everything in all right so we got all this in these two is for our coil so let's connect that to our power coming in and get that part done all right our coil is now connected then the yellow wire comes in gets connected here that orange gets connected to four then i'm going to take this red and black wire of line and neutral right so i can use those wires to put it on my new clock and run that into the control panel all right so i ran my wires in put the clock back on this orange wire i'm gonna have to put the terminal four all right so the yellow wire was connected here that's our common from the relay put a contacts that's done red wire goes to where i see the little tip of red here and the black goes to where i see the little tip of black here where i cut it so let's finish wiring this up all right guys it's all wired up everything ends there is connected it's looking good one thing i just realized is that we didn't actually have to take apart everything if we actually didn't want to because of the fact that we could take apart the guts that's a, that plays a big role i kind of could have just took that apart but i wanted the new body on here so from here we have to set the defrost so here's our clock this indicates the time where this point is at that's the time that it is right now so we would have to manually adjust this by spinning this knob and we can set the time that way this little knob right here this little copper piece that's actually the setting of how long you want this defrost to be so this is the old one if we look closely it's set at four this is 4 a.m so we're gonna take one of these little pins and screw it on to at 4 a.m that's when this goes into defrost and then this one it's set to about 38 degrees defrost just push down on the tab and spin it and that will change the time well that's that ended up changing everything but if you look it did change to less so just push down on that and spin it so let's go ahead and set this up all right so i just set the clock also put that protective insulation over there i set it the pin to 4 a.m and the defrost time is going to be about 35 minutes all right, it's about 11 a.m right now set the clock to 11 a.m let's go ahead and turn on the power for the upstairs and let's make sure that thermostat is calling this light should come on and that's going to indicate that we want our condensing unit to start so for the for this section it's just a plug-in so i plugged it in that fan is running and then that fan is running you can go ahead and turn on the condensing unit all right as y'all can see that light is on so it's calling for cooling 
let's go ahead and put in our pull switch start this thing up all right a compressor is now running what i want to do is spin this manually and make sure that the defrost is doing its thing so let's spin this let's pay attention to this right here once that pin reaches here it's going to take us into defrost so we're going to listen for a click and that first big click should mean the compressor should stop getting there let's pay attention listen for the large loud click right there compressor stopped let's, so now it's gonna go through its 35 minute defrost and let's bypass it again right there compressor started now we can adjust the time to what it is so now we know this works all right it's looking good system is running we just got to make sure that the system satisfies on temperature which i know it will as it was satisfied this morning and pretty much got to close up this control panel but that was it we replaced our mechanical defrost timer if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time